Welcome back. So earlier in the year, the annual Atlan Hot 100 publication celebrated its 11th edition of leading personalities in the UAE. And that was with a glittering red carpet on the Palm Jumeirah. As always, it's a roll call of innovators, movers and shakers. And it's of course one of the dates on a Dubai socialite's diary. Let's take a look back at who made this year's cut. The Hot 100 is one of the most anticipated social events of the year and the Emirates' biggest celebration of vision, talent and ambition. Entrepreneurs, trendsetters, philanthropists and artists were selected as the leading social influencers of the UAE. So Sarah, congratulations, 11 years of the Ahlan Hot 100. Yep. Tell me, how has the vision for the publication grown over that time? Well, it has changed quite a lot this year. We are more about the um, influence, which is obviously a big word that's on the scene now, influencers. And uh, when we did the criteria, how we picked people was not just based on the usual thing of outstanding achievement, how they've changed the landscape. We've also gone and looked at things like Instagram followers and Twitter followers. And that's been a really big thing in our um, social media influence, in our selection process. And uh, the, the full total um, followers for Twitter and Instagram this year are 28.5 million. That's how many followers the Hot 100 have. The hottest bash of the season wouldn't be anything without the music, right? So we kick off the Hot 100 with the Box Tones. Rocking the crowd, they hit the big time after releasing debut album In the Pocket of Clowns last year. Rapping to success is our favorite hip-hop ambassador, Two-Tone, who's had a meteoric rise to fame. Basically, I've had four number one singles right now uh, on iTunes. Uh, I did Red Fest, Formula One. I just did the opening act for Drake yesterday, which was incredible. Uh, got to hang out with Drake. So yeah, we had a great year. I've been in every magazine and every uh, almost every newspaper. So. And it's electronic dance duo Holophonic, that's Greg Stainer and Ollie Wood, who are known for turning up the volume on the music scene. We were top 10 in eight countries across the GCC. Uh, we did a remix that was signed to Motown in, in the US. Um, and yeah, it's been a mental year. We've performed to 250,000 people over the period of this year, and it's been crazy. Ever wondered about the faces behind the radio? Well, Dubai 92's Pricey dished on her relationship with her co-host, Harry. We've successfully not killed each other, Harry and I. Um, we've been, we're a new show, we're on the drive show on Dubai 92, the radio station. And um, we've been together for almost a year now, and yeah, just getting through it, and yeah, having fun. And recognised for supplying soul to Dubai, Scottish DJ David Craig reflected on the growth of the music scene. There's a lot going on right now. I mean, since I've been here in the last six years, I think the amount of clubs and the amount of new DJs and the amount of new nights, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I think to the point now where other places are starting to look towards Dubai as an entertainment destination. From music to fashion, a blogger, editor and designer Muse, that's Natalia Shostova, was a new entry to the publication and brought cutting edge trends to the red carpet. I'm wearing Dina Chirsar, she's Beirut based designer and I'm always supporting the local talents and this is um, Fulton, Studio Fulton, one of the masterpieces, extremely happy. Also making a name from video blogging, M. Kwan shares my passion for documenting our time in the UAE. Things for me have been reviewing the Bentley Continental GTVAS. We had that for a whole month so we could kind of uh, experience Dubai and Abu Dhabi in a luxury car. Um, we've also, uh, we also went to the Esquire award ceremony so that was good fun as well. Style queen, PR guru and philanthropist Rosemond Manji is responsible for bringing luxury designers such as Missoni to the region. You know, tomorrow I'm so excited. I'm hosting um, an event with Peter Pilato. Uh, so Christopher and Peter are in town, and we love them. And they're, you know, won the Vogue uh, Vogue Fashion Council Award uh, this year. So, no, I'm thrilled to bring them tomorrow, and they're here for Art Dubai. And if Michael Cinco is a couture king whose celeb clients include Beyonce, Rihanna, and Jennifer Lopez, Fan One is the internationally lauded theatrical haute couture maestro. Also recognizing up-and-coming fashion designers, Deborah Hanning models her own minimalist style. It's all uh, minimalist monochrome, um, lots of beautiful fabrics but in casual shapes. So there's lots of um, 
tees with drape, drape up and backs and uh, jumpers with drapey uh, chiffon in it and stuff like that. So it's a casual mix between um, daytime clothes and nighttime fabrics. And bouncing into business success are the founders of Bounce in Our Cause, a novel concept urging us to keep jumping. Who doesn't love trampolines? I mean, ever since we were little kids and that jumping around on beds and out of trees and things like this was just a great idea and we thought uh, Dubai would love it. From bouncing to putting on a show, it's power couple Lisa and Johnny Scott Lee who've established a local performing arts academy. What's nice is we were here this time last year to talk to the Hot 100 and we were talking about our, our dreams of opening a performing arts academy and in the last year those dreams have become reality uh, and we have now opened Dubai Performing Arts Academy. And also recognising unsung heroes, this media savvy medic is caring for kids with cutting edge technology in the healthcare industry. It's really the technology is already uh, invented called photorefraction. And this is the best way to check the vision without even getting close to the children. It's like from one meter away and it takes two seconds where we can know everything about their vision. Since 2005, the Aklan Hot 100 has celebrated those who are helping to shape the Emirates in both a business and cultural way. This year, refreshingly, there's lots of new faces. However, they've also introduced the Legends Edition. These are the people who continue to inspire and succeed and have been in the publication several times. These include Zion Gandor, co-founder and creative director of Source, and designer of Zion the Label. She's credited with jump-starting the local fashion scene. Alongside Emirati serial entrepreneur Sarah Balhassa, who owns Boutique Studio 8 and brings colour and glamour to the women of the Emirates. Uh, you know, I, I own a boutique. Yeah. I run a Studio 8 store, so of course I have many my designers under one roof. And uh, every time we try to come with new designers, I have two boutiques, one in Dubai Mall and one in uh, Jumeirah Beach Road. So the Dubai Mall, uh, basically it's for the GCC customers and the, uh, the Jumeirah store is for the Asian designer. And Thomas Lundgrens continues to save the world from Ikea as the founder of The One. That's turning home and furniture shopping into a theatrical experience. And who's not a fan of the entertainer? Donna Benton has made life just a little more affordable with her buy one get one free vouchers to literally half the world. And our final legend needs no introduction. Five years in the Hot 100 and now hanging with major artists, it's of course Chris Fade. You know, the last couple of weeks have been amazing. We had Ed Sheeran, uh, got him playing my guitar, which I thought was cool. Ed Sheeran tuned my guitar, I was like, wow, that's amazing. Uh, and then a couple of nights ago, Drake, got a, got a chance to catch up with the cool man Drake. Uh, the artists coming to Dubai are amazing. We've got One Direction coming up as well with Virgin. So it's been an exciting year. It's been a massive year, not just for myself, but for Dubai, I think, in general. Tell me, how do you think that the Hot 100 really reflects the growth of Dubai as a global city now? Well, I think when we put it all together, we asked everybody their nationalities and there's over 26 countries. And I think a lot of people, you know, lay claim to being a melting pot like London and Dubai. But I've been, yeah, New York, sorry, but I've been to both. I've lived in London 10 years and I've never known the mix and the diversity of cultures that we have here. So I think that's really impacted on the, on the sort of offerings that we're getting in fashion, in food. The, the whole scene is really cool at the moment. So those were the personalities and this was the party. And you have to admit, Generation Dubai are inspiring, fun and most definitely hot. So those were this year's Hot 100. But next up we have the region's leading fashion designers. That's after the break.